This viewer asked us, you know, I grew up here and I don't remember so many days that were so windy. What's the deal with the wind? <laughs> so here to help break down what we've been seeing or feeling in this case, meteorologist Tavian Whitehurst on our weather porch to fill us in. Hey, Tavian. How's it going, Robin? Well, these winds have been something that have kind of been coming along with the cooler temperatures that we have been seeing lately, which even right now we have the special weather statement in effect where we have wind gusts getting upwards of 35 miles per hour. But the simple answer to that question is just because we are seeing a very active weather pattern as we get into the severe weather season and this spring. You're looking at the special weather statement right now. And we have those winds coming out of the direction that we saw the front this past weekend. And so when you look at the wider scale, winds happen because air pressure is always trying to reach that equilibrium state, which this is kind of the setup we're seeing right now with low pressure that is passing through the region, high pressure sitting on the west side of the country. So when these systems are a little bit weaker, we get weaker winds, weaker shifts and less intense uh, shifting between some of these rain chances and maybe the nicer conditions that we get. But when these strongs get a lot strong, strong Stronger, kind of like we're seeing right now, those low pressure systems have stronger fronts attached to them. Those high pressure systems have stronger pressure gradients as well, and winds come from pressure. So we're going to get much stronger winds that come in the middle. You can see the clockwise spin of the uh, high pressure and the counterclockwise spin of the low pressure coming together there in the middle. So when you look at the larger scale, you can see we have that system up there in the nor northeast that's e even bringing snow to parts of the Midwest and even the Appalachian Mountain Range. And when you think about what we saw this past weekend, we had a front pass, a pretty strong front coming coming along with that associated system, high pressure coming off into our west. And so those two converging in the middle as we're between these two is what is causing all the gusty winds we are seeing right now. So of course, as we begin to severe weather season, make sure you can get all of your alerts, including things like wind advisories, just because of things like Twitter kind of holding back on their alerts and things like that. Just make sure you have multiple ways to know what's going on, including right here on Channel 10. But I'll send things over to Kaylee. She'll let you know about your entire forecast right now.